Hello everyone. My name is Chen Yu, and my poster is about how Chinese readers learn and generalize character knowledge through the experience with compound words. Each Chinese character is a basic unit of meaning. You may imagine that Chinese readers read character by character. However, it's usually not the case. Instead, characters are typically embedded in a compound word. For example, here. Character one means flower, while character two means bottle. Together, we get a vase. Here's another example. This time, we compound this character, flower, with another character, meaning money. So, do you have an, an, any idea what this is? It means to spend money. Here's the question: Does this character really mean flower? Actually. This character can mean to spend money or spend time when it is embedded in a word like this. It can even mean fickle in love, and sometimes doesn't contribute to the meaning of the whole word at all. So, it seems that this character behaves quite differently across compounds. Given the inconsistent behavior of characters, how Chinese readers form character knowledge. Also, given the inconsistent behavior of characters. How Chinese readers determine the meaning of a character as they encounter a novel compound in their daily lives. So, this study aims to investigate how Chinese readers learn character knowledge and generalize such abstract knowledge to the daily encounters of novel words. To investigate these issues, we、um, aim to examine two variables. The first one is family size. It is defined as the number of family members or words sharing the same character. The second variable is much more important and relevant to our aim. We devised a graded metric called family semantic consistency. It is defined as the average semantic relatedness between the character's meaning and the meanings of family members. It characterizes how consistently a character contributes. To meanings of family members, these two variables were examined in a publicly available lexical decision dataset on Chinese two-character compound words. So, after our analysis, we found that the semantic family semantic consistency is influential to both word and non-word processing. This means that Chinese readers are sensitive to the statistical regularities of form meaning mapping. They acquire character knowledge through the experience of various compound words in which the character occurs. Also, character knowledge is automatically activated during word and non-word processing. This means that Chinese readers can apply this kind of knowledge to the comprehension of novel words.